Hello and welcome to what I'd say is the first how-to video by Cheezoidski, apart from a couple of Minecraft ones. This is how to sleeve your Turtle Beach cables. I've got a Turtle Beach headset and if I can get some of its cable out from under my desk. It insists on twisting around itself about a million times, like that all the way down the, all down the wire. So I'm going to be sleeving it in this um, sort of springy sleeving stuff for electrical cables and um, like power supply cables that go to your graphics cards and stuff in your computer I'm going to be using a piece of off cut to go from the tuner box to the headset and a piece I have got as a actually bought I guess for as a special piece to go from down here where the cables are right up to the headset but I won't be sleeving these individual cables at the end because the twisting on them doesn't matter too much it doesn't get in the way of the use of the headset whereas the others do as you can tell by the things I've got on the table you'll need a pair of something similar to this maybe pliers anything that's preferably spring loaded um, if you have problems getting the cable out while you put it in you can use them to open it up some cutters some tape the same colour as your cabling a pair of scissors a lighter to burn the ends of your cabling, a mat to protect whatever surface you're working on and if it's anything like my lighter you need a pair of gloves because it insists on electrocuting you through the screw in the bottom as it's an electric lighter not a usual flint one which is why it lights nearly every time although now that I've just said that it probably won't light when I do it but anyway first thing I need to do is really clear everything out of the way and get the cable now with the cable you're going to need to have to make sure it is as straight as possible don't get it twisted at all as you can see from mine now it's got slight waves in it from where it's been twisted but generally it is perfectly straight as far as a, a cable would go from a headset and then you need to get your longest piece of cabling which I have got behind me if you haven't already cut the ends I'm going to demonstrate that on this piece of cable I've got here so you need to get your cutters you don't need the gloves for this bit unless you're the kind of person who has a total lack of coordination who's like to cut his fingers or something and just the off bits at the end because when you buy it it's often like this at the ends you need to get the cutters and just well, he's cut, my cutters are quite blunt actually cut through it like this If my cutters will even cut and try and get a nice neat cut all the way along but preferably use a pair of new cutters not ones you've had for years like mine because they'll just break so I'll probably cut part of this bit of the video out and come back when I've got a nice clean cut edge on it Right, obviously what I've noticed that pause, but I'm back with another attempt to do it. I had a slight issue with the lighter running out of gas. I've used these scissors to cut it because they're sharp unlike my cutters. And one of the other lighters I've tried using set the cable on fire. So, yeah, it's, it's all been going not to plan off air. But anyway, I've got another electric lighter which produces a very hot flame. And I'm going to try again at singeing the ends so they don't come apart and fray. You just want to keep doing it until you get a bit of smoke and you can see, I don't know if the camera can really see it, but this little beads on the end where the cables have joined onto each other. This piece I've demonstrated on is actually thicker, it's my off cut for going from the tuner box to the very top this is check uh, this is 20 millimeter wide tubing which is quite good but it's a bit wide really I use 12 for the majority of it, the stuff I got but this is just an off cut I happen to have so I'm going to be using this to demonstrate and for the top bit because it needs to be able to get over the other tubing but anyway now that we've done that, just move everything out of the way. And also, preferably be in a well ventilated area because when this 
rubbery sleeving stuff sets on fire it really does not smell nice at all I've got my window nice and open and I should take off the gloves which almost set on fire themselves I think and get your tubing out preferably at the end as opposed to like I just got it part way along anyway whoops caught the stand anyway this is where these can come in handy with your tubing you want to just put them inside and release and maybe give them a bit of a helping hand and they'll they'll sort of splay it out I guess and as you can see the ends aren't totally coming apart because I've heated this done quite a nice job on uh, using the other lighter on this but sadly it ran out for the actual recording I was going to do but anyway now you've got your cables get them separate from each other and first one you want to put in is the biggest one which is the USB port you know what you want to do is sort of put it in here instantly followed by as close as possible the two coloured cables and then you want to try and slide them along by hand like that at first and then once you've got them in you want to just go in front of the port push it along and then let go with this hand and it starts to go along the length of the cable so what you do is you grab it about an inch in front push it down and then let go and it sends it shooting down the length so I'll just quickly oops, do a bit of that and you'll see when it gets to this join here you want to be very careful you want to try and push as much in as possible to get the as least of a bend as possible there and just keep working it along and being careful not to damage your cables this stuff does come off once you secure it at the end with the tape so with my turtle beaches I got to take them back when the old, my old set broke in warranty even though I'd had all this sleeving on them to protect them because you couldn't tell I'd had it on and if anything it doesn't damage the headset if anything it will protect it so just to tell you again this stuff I'm using is you see it's just over a centimetre there it's 12 millimetre wide I can't remember the name of it I'll leave the name in the description in the you will need section but it is it's quite good it's for computer power supplies and stuff like that and this is an off cut from wiring something uh, I don't know maybe, I think it was maybe main stuff but yeah use the 12 millimeter stuff you might want to get it in a nice color other than grey but this was in a somewhere local and really cheap otherwise I would have got it in maybe a nice green or a blue because my total beaches are the X12s and the green but yeah it's gonna take me ages to get this down the whole length for the length for the whole thing you've really got to do it for the whole thing but I'm gonna cut the video out now and probably spend about 10 minutes getting this along the whole length of the few meter long cable right in between there I've got all the cabling on and it's gone a bit short and if you have this problem if you've measured it correctly you can go and run your hand along the whole length of it and push it up and get it back to the top I'm not going to do that in this recording I'm going to finish it off after and this is the other piece of bigger sleeving as you can see it's over the top I've lined that up you've lined that up with the camera it's over the top of the other stuff you push it all the way along and you get to the box just carefully put it over it's obviously going to adjust your volume wheels but you won't have your headset on at this moment in time so in theory anyway so you won't be deafened by it putting your your volume on a million and six but yeah I've taped up the ends I'm going to show you to you in a minute but just if you see this problem you just got to run your hands along the whole length of it because it has a tendency to like squash up in places this stuff but yeah and I've also not got the right amount because I'm using off cuts mainly from sleeving of a headset. At this point, what you want to do is, apart from trying to centre yourself in the frame, you've got the end of your tape pre-prepared, well I have, and you cut yourself off a, a nice decent few inches or about 10 centimetres if you're in euros for measurement, although I must admit I use centimetres, you more than inches when I'm measuring things for stuff like this but that's because you meant to and anyway you just get it with a bit of an overhang and you wrap it round 
like so. Oops. Trying to not make it too wide because the tape doesn't look very nice. But leaving it so it can go over there a bit and if you want you can always tape it actually to the tuner box at either end. You've obviously you have go to the effort of pushing all this stuff along and making it longer. And then at the top, you best not taping it to the headset really. But you have to tape it up at the top no matter what really, otherwise when that touches there you hear a rustling in your ears and it's really annoying. So you've got to really do a good job on taping up the top. So I'm going to get off quite a bit more, maybe 15 centimetres or 6 inches. Um, get it right up to near the top and make sure you've got quite a bit of an overhang with your tape as you're putting it around and wrap it around a lot Oops, got stuck on myself there and if you want you can push like the end in on itself it doesn't look as nice but it makes less of a sound when it touches the top bit of your headset like that because it's rolled over you know, just press it down to make sure it's nice and firmly on. Do that with all the joints, obviously. And then your your turtle beaches can't. Oops. Oh. Let's just squash that down. There we go. As you can see, it even does it on such a short length. Your turtle beaches can't do that annoying thing of twisting around themselves because this stuff just untwists. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking the lovely bit of tape here. I think I'll do a silly annotation like that. And yeah, f um, you're welcome for helping you fix your problem with your Turtle Beaches twisting. I know it's drove me insane in the past. And you can also sleeve your Xbox chat bit that comes off here. So yeah, hope you found this helpful. Comment, rate and subscribe.